Hey, you. Yes, you. If you're watching this, uh, well, right when it comes out, I'm, I'm streaming on Twitch. Go to twitch.tv slash Flynnright. Go watch me. Play this. Because, please. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of... Vault Hunters. I know what you're thinking. Okay, Flynn, you've been gone for a little while. What's going on? Hmm? You dead? Are you, uh, are you a zombie now? Did somebody revive your corpse? No, 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 no. I was just dealing with some shit, man. Oh, I can't say that. I was just dealing with some stuff. So you might notice there's some, like, blazing agitators here, because I'm trying to get more power into my system. I'll explain all this stuff later, but I did record, like, four hours of footage that hopefully I'll cut through very briefly, but if not, not a whole lot has happened, if I'm gonna be honest. Very quick summary of everything. I overhauled the storage to these netherite barrels from metal barrels, and I hooked up refined storage to the back of them. So that's great. Phenomenal. We're almost to 75, which is really important, because then we're gonna go ahead and get glass cannon, because I like the sound of that. It, it seems like it's gonna be harder to do more damage in the late game than it is to reduce the damage you're taking. I'm not doing so hot on either, but I'd still rather get glass cannon rather than ward, because I could just kill everything with glass cannon and whatnot. Elves with bosses and whatever, and you know, Anyway, um, we, we have both storage systems, okay? We have this one set up because this is much nicer to insert items and to actually pull them out for um, uh, crystal recipes because when I have my danks on, they don't actually get thrown away like they do in this one because of how it handles the items. And yeah, so uh, long story short, we're working on the power. I'll probably go in depth into it a little bit later. I made some crystals. I need gems. Okay, and that's just a fact. I'm like out of Beniatite. I'm like out of Laramar. I'm running out of everything. None of these catalysts have gotten me copious, plentiful, or rich on any of these crystals. So we're going to run a crystal that has a lot less mobs in it. Just so we can have fun. But I really do need gems. Because my dank capacity is limiting how fast I can run these vaults. And how efficiently I can run them. And also, I need pogs for like other progression. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and run this vault. Oh, also, I changed my food in my dank to be these mysterious stews because these are the ones that give you uh, full hunger and saturation, I think. So, let's get started. Just like usual, I'm just gonna do some super cuts. No need to watch me play this whole vault anymore. Holy crap, look how many boys there are. This is perfect. Well, that didn't work. Yay, I gained a favor. Okay, what do we got in the box, hmm? Uh, unidentified vault idol. Is that gonna go into my dank? Because it has not been going into my dank lately. Okay, let's see. It did not. So that's, that's fine. That's cool. I don't really care that much. You think you hurt my feelings? You didn't. I'm fairly confident I can get myself to level 75 from the next vault. Or just from this vault. I do want to make sure I hit it, so I wouldn't mind fighting the boss. Also gives us a chance to get an artifact, which is kind of the whole point of this. Also, by the way, since I've last uploaded, Iskal has announced 1.18 of Vault Hunters coming out, I think, November 26th or something like that? Um, you bet your fucking sweet bippy we're gonna be hopping on that bussy train as soon as we can. Even if we don't beat this version, because honestly, that version looks real slick. Why did I open that right now? I don't need this. But yeah, exciting. And I might play that with one of my friends. Spice things up a little bit, you know? In case you're tired of just listening to me all the time, then you can listen to me and someone else. It doesn't really change anything. Or maybe it does, I don't know. I haven't done it before. Here we go, here's one. Also not to mention, once I hit level 75, the loot tier of these vaults increases. So I get more echo gems, I get more delicious skill shards and things like that. Things that I really need. A lot less of the stuff that I don't. So there we go. We've got two out of four obelisks. It's still 20 minutes to go. So I'm feeling pretty good about this vault, but who knows? I've been disappointed in the past. Nope, oh, and there's a third one. Okay, so I think it's going pretty good. When I tell you I've run a huge number of vaults, uh, well, maybe not a huge number, but what, we've done 61 vaults now? I don't know the last number that you guys saw, but I've definitely run, like, at least five of them since the last episode. And come to think of it, I'm probably not going to include all the footage that I did before, because good god... It's already been like two and a half weeks since I uploaded. If you guys want a video at all, we're just gonna go ahead and act like that footage doesn't exist. Yeah, no thanks. I don't feel like sitting through eight hours of footage trying to edit it so that you guys have a little bit more context so I can just tell you what happened. But we do still... <gasps> Ooh, a key piece. Now we have four key pieces, which means that now we can go ahead and get ourselves a gem room key, like a, like a treasure key, which could be a ticket to some really good loot. But we want to save it for a lucky, lucky, lucky vault. <gasps> oh, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Oh, this is great. This is good. Man, I remember before they nerfed these, they were like all over the place. Don't mind me, just breaking all your homes. Hey, hey, doing? Not interested. Uh, go fuck yourself. This is why we need glass cannon, okay? What? 
What are you doing? Get out of the floor, you weirdo. Okay. These. Not as many chests in here as I was, as I was hoping. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Come on, buddy. What are you trying to do here? Kill me? Oh! What have I done to you, personally? You don't even know me! I don't even know you! So why do we want to kill each other? Oh, fuck. Scald it, please. I win. And this is with less mobs spawning. Isn't that crazy? Hey, Anomalisk. Perfect. Send that as a waypoint. Now we're set to go and explore for the next ten minutes. Well, like eight minutes, really. I don't really want to push it that far. Oh, and there's another obelisk over here. Maybe we want to do this one instead? I don't know. I don't think it matters. Would be nice if we found... I mean, this is pretty good. Like a gem-focused room? I just want more danks, or bigger danks, so that I can really just filter out everything I don't want. Because I hate getting inventories full of shit that I don't care about. It's a big pet peeve of mine. But I can't do that unless I get some poggies. Some little boggy woggies. And up until now, I haven't gotten very many of them. Big disappointment. I'm disappointed in it. You're disappointed in me. Vicious cycle, honestly. But it's alright, we're making progress towards getting that rectified. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Mind if I pop in here and mine those? Thank you. Oh. Oh, I might as well kill these guys, right? Up. Oh. Alright, I didn't even get the chance. That's fine. Just blow up anyways. It doesn't even matter. Who cares? This is this is the Vault Hunter's experience right here. It's just sitting here, smacking these boys over and over again until they die. Drop some stupid loot that I care about. <laughs> Great, I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be playing it. But I have to agree, it's more of a love-hate relationship rather than just pure love. It's not that simple. A gem in there. There's a gem up there. There's another gem there. Yeah, give me all the gems, because I'm so fucking poor right now. It's not even funny. Oh, you think it's funny? <laughs> it's not. It's not funny. Being poor is not funny. I would really appreciate some compressed basalt, because I don't like going to grab that shit. Very annoying. <laughs> uh, we might just cut our losses and leave because I want to secure this delicious boss fight. And it'll give me a chance to run away if it's like a vault robot or something and I'm gonna die. Must always plan for failure. Only then will you ever truly succeed. See, wasn't that really wise? You guys call me old all the time. I gotta be wise, at least partially. So, nom 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 nom. And here we go. Oh, it's a boogie boy. Get him down to half health. Blah, blah, blah. And he's dead. Whoa, we did it. Ooh. I'm a professional vault hunter. Really do be hunting them vaults sometimes. Holy shit, there's nothing. I can't find anything in here. Whatever, that's a waste of durability. Okay, we did it. We're level 75. You see that shit? Four skill points. I can't get glass cannon yet because I need five skill points. What does that mean? It means we need some burgers or we need a skill shard orb thing. Which I don't know if I have enough stuff for. What's inside the boss crate, baby? Overgrowth seed, that's cool. Got a trader core that sells us a repair core, that's nice. A relic, some unidentified gear, which is not really that important to me. And the rest is kind of meh. What's the relic? Hmm, dragon claw. Don't I have like fucking a billion of those? Why, dude? Why? I've got four of these, both of these fucking things. I got four of them. Give me some other ones of the dragon set, please. Anyways, um, I want to save my vault gold for, uh, where is it? Fortune. There we go, we need seven vault gold for that. And that's expensive. So, an importer right there. Spin it, spin it up. There we go. That's good enough. And I can't do the stack upgrades because I think they need a pog. Oh, they need an echo gem. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have those. So, no stack upgrade for you, mister. Smack that there. Done. Grab this one. Smack that there. Let it do its thing. This is what we call peak efficiency. If we could just get stack upgrades, that'd be great. Won't be for a hot second, though. Or maybe it will be in a hot second. Who knows? I am level 75 now. Which reminds me, I really need to get that fifth skill point. So let's see what we can do. I highly doubt we're going to be able to do anything with the skill shards. Yeah, no. We don't have enough. So, burgers? <laughs> These should be enough to get me to 76. Huzzah! Now we can go ahead and put this point in the glass cannon. And I know what you're thinking, Flynn, you're crazy, you're gonna die, and you know what? Fuck you. So what? It'll be fine. I also kinda wanted barbaric, because that sounds really cool. But glass cannon? You know, as long as I don't get one shot, I can heal through leech, and my leech would heal more since I'm doing more damage. So... Glass cannon. But anyways, let's go ahead and run another vault. Now that we've got our glass cannon. And I'm sure we've unlocked some other things. I haven't really been paying attention. Ah, uh, yeah, now we can get another point into Treasure Hunter, which will be very important, but I think we need to focus on getting strength first, because that just makes more sense to me. Well, maybe actually not anymore, now that we have glass cannon. Let's go find out. I'm excited to punch some things. Let's do this. 
extended and crowded. I'm excited. Who am I gonna murder first? You boys, come here. Okay, pretty good. I don't know why that one didn't take that much damage, but oh god. Okay, there's those boys now. Just kind of scary. Okay. No, overall, it's pretty nice. I do take a good bit of damage, but that's fine. I'm also in a higher tier, so don't forget about that. Ooh, but the one taps, when I can get them, very nice. So yeah, another strength level would still help. Whoop. I think overall it helps me much more than it hurts me. There's a lot of obelisks in this one, um, but it is extended, so I don't know. Maybe we'll be fine. But right now this is feeling really good. All right, we get the new loot pools, so hopefully we get good things. Look, I got a mod box already. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh, some Oopaline. I mean, that's the unique gem I have the most of, but won't really say no to more unique gems, I guess. Oh, this is so good. I can't even explain to you how much more pleasurable these vaults have gotten because of that extra damage increase. There we go. Ooh, a banished soul. Ah, oh, my body! Witch scout. Witch scout, hold on. Calm down. Shut up. Hey, right, come here. Thank you. I don't remember if you drop anything important, but whatever. It's the second one I've killed, I think. Are you surprised I haven't found a single obelisk yet? Because I am. A vault rune? What? I've never seen that before. So that one lets me guaranteed get an X marks the spot room inside the vault. Okay, not bad. First obelisk. Um, <laughs> I don't think we're going to find all of them. Oh, well, there's a second one at least. None of these freaking things go into my dank anymore. It's kind of lame. Hey, an X marks the spot room. Please give me gems. I really do need those. Oh, shit. Every time I get this room now, it's just monsters. All right, let's uh, keep running. I'm 700 meters away from the vault entrance. Uh, I think the vaults are bigger. You had level 75. I don't feel like I've ever been that far away from the vault portal. Hey, another X marks the spot room. Gems, please. <gasps> Finally! Give me all your things. Gotta mine all this to see if there's any ores hiding. Okay. Four minutes left and we either have to escape or find the last two obelisks. There's an obelisk. Okay, I'm gonna start making my way back because I don't want to risk it. Okay, one minute left. I doubt we're gonna find any obelisks in this area of the dungeon, but I don't even care as long as I leave with everything I have. All right, time to go. See you all later. Okay, we almost got a whole level from that, but let's see what we got inside our crates. All right, and there's some more inside here that I can't pull on right now, but this is the gist of what we got. Okay, we got another Fortune 4 book. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We need one more Fortune 4 book, because unfortunately, this Fortune 4 can't be transferred to one of these Paxels. But what we need is a Paxel with the Fortunate Enhancement. And then we add Fortune 3 on it, use one of these enchanted books to get it to Fortune 4, and then use another enchanted book to get it to Fortune 5. See, I could do it on this, but I'm not going to, because I want Fortune 8, not 7. Which means we need to either get lucky and get another Fortune book, or we need to go look at libraries in the end dungeons. But I don't really know which one I want to do right now, so I'm not going to do either of them. All right, let's see what do we got. Ooh, plus two haste. Ah, disappointing. Well, this rush two one will probably be our new primary one. All right, let's dump everything we have in here and let's open up some gear. Hey, that gives four health. It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, all of these look like crap. Ah, uh, what a shame. Well, into the smelter you all go. Hey, there we go. We also got another level out of that. So, not that I could put this skill point really in anything I care about. Strength is probably the next thing we should put it in, honestly. But anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.